everybody. Welcome to SourceFed. I'm Joe Beretta. I'm Lee Newton. Camping is intense. Get it? Love this shirt. I recently covered the new trailer for the Mantis mech vehicle in the upcoming Halo 4 because it's awesome. Link in the description because I'm awesome. But now it turns out that we might be taking some steps, albeit small steps, mind you, towards Mantis mechs someday policing our city streets. Okay, not mechs, but remote controlled robotic keepers of the peace. Robots? Cops? I know what you're thinking. But we refuse to make that specific movie reference. No. Uh uh, we're not gonna do it. No, we're, we're not gonna better do it. than that. Mm -mm, we're better. Instead, we'll make every other reference we can think of. Every other reference we can think of including the one about Aladdin. U.S. Navy Reserve's Lieutenant Commander Jeremy Robbins, killer name buddy, has teamed up with the smart thinky types over at Florida International University's Discovery Lab to try and create real life T-1000s. Not murder bots, but bots that wear police uniforms. Almost like a... You get it. You guys get it. You get it, right? Robbins threw down $20,000 from his own pockets and borrowed two robots from the Institute for Human and Machine Cognition. No big deal. They were just valued at $500,000. Here's hoping he took out an insurance policy on the prototypes. Don't want to be responsible if you damage your IG-88s. <laughs> <laughs> The initial idea behind the project isn't solely based in creating a kick-ass mech force, though. What Jeremy Robbins hopes to do is create a way for disabled vets and police officers to continue to serve the people. And no, we're not talking about Ripley, where your robot type of robots here. We're talking about the power of remote control. According to the Veterans Administration, there are more than 181,000 Afghanistan and Iraq war vets on disability. This could help turn those numbers around. These bots, for the most part, are being looked at as patrol bots and would be responsible for handing out robo parking tickets and responding to 911 calls, like Gizmo Duck. Yeah. Robin stated, with telebots, a disabled police officer will be capable of performing many, if not most, of the functions of a normal patrol officer. Interacting with the community, patrolling, responding to 911 calls, and issuing citations. He goes on to discuss the difficulty of creating a bot people will respect and obey while keeping it approachable enough so the general public will come up to it for help. So, kinda like that little teddy bear robot from AI, but with a rocket launcher. Yeah. Public obedience or not, I think this is a pretty cool idea. It could provide a means for people to work within their passion when otherwise they might not be able to. Plus, as it stands, these telebots wouldn't completely take the human element out of the equation. Unlike those creepy minority report spider robots. Yeah. <sighs> 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 I found him in a bathtub. <sighs> <sighs> So do you think that these remote controlled patrol bots would be effective crime stoppers and street patrollers? Why or why not? Please discuss it in the comment space down below. And then please like and subscribe and then click this annotation for more source fed goodness. I'm Joe Beretta. I'm Lane Newton. Joe, we did it. Oh my god. <gasps> An entire story on robotic cops and we didn't say his name once. Nope, no we didn't. That's right. And you know what else? Also, kill bots. THX huh? 1138 robot police, crappy Michael Bay barricade, and uh, uh, one more, one more. Got it. Robocop. Damn it! Oh, son of a bitch!